Hello and welcome back to Read Out Loud with Daria. Today we're going to be reading The Little Red Hen. Retold by Fiona Patchett and illustrated by Valentina Fontana. This story is about a little red hen, some grains of wheat, a cat, a rat and a duck. Once there was a little red hen. She lived on a farm in a little white hut. She was always looking for food. Her three best friends lived on the farm too. Meow. There was a proud black cat. There was a fat rat. Zzz, and there was a very noisy duck. Splash, splash. One day, the little red hen saw some grains of wheat. She looked at them. If I plant these, they will grow. She looked at her friends. Will you help me plant these grains? I'm busy, purred the cat. So am I, squeaked the rat. Me too, the duck quacked. Then I shall plant them myself, said the little red hen. She found a sunny field and buried the grains of wheat in the ground. Every day she watered them. A few shoots began to show. Slowly they grew into a patch of golden wheat. Who will help me cut down the wheat? She asked. Asked the little red hen. I'm busy, purred the cat. So am I, squeaked the rat. Me too, the duck quacked. Then I shall cut it down myself, said the little red hen. And she did. I need to carry the wheat to the mill. I want to grind it into flour, she said. There was a lot of wheat. Who will help me carry it, she asked. I'm busy, so am I. Me too. Then I shall carry the wheat myself, said the little red hen. She scooped the wheat into a basket. It was heavy, but she carried it all by herself. Who will help me grind the wheat into flour, she asked. I'm busy, purred the cat. So am I, squeaked the rat. Me too, the duck quacked. Then I will grind it myself, said the little red hen. The ground all, she, gro she ground all the wheat into flour. This flour will make lovely bread. Who will help me bake the flour into bread, she asked. By now she could guess the answer. I'm busy, purred the cat. So am I, squeaked the rat. Me too, the duck quacked. Well then, I shall bake it myself, said the little red hen. She took the flour to the bakehouse and put on her apron and hat. She put the flour in a bowl with water, oil, salt and yeast and stirred them to make a soft mixture. She pushed, folded and turned it around and left it in a warm place. In two hours, it was twice as big. She put it in a hot oven to bake. Soon the most delicious smell floated out into the farmyard. Mmm, that smells good, purred the cat. The rat got up from under his tree. His nose twitched. What's that smell? The duck got out of the pond. He waddled over to the bakehouse too. The little red hen took the bread out of the oven. What a perfect loaf. Who will help me eat the bread, she asked. I will, purred the cat. And me, squeaked the rat. Me too, the duck quacked. Oh, no you won't, said the little red hen. I shall eat it all myself. And she did. Thank you for reading The Little Red Hen with me. If you like this video, click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and give me a few thumbs up. See you guys later. Bye.